everybody. I'm Stephanie Haney. Welcome back to another week of It's All Good News. We got some new digs around here. Hope you like the spot and we hope that you are ready to smile because we have a lot of great stories and that's our job is to cheer you up here on It's All Good News and we are going to do it. And we're going to start the show this week with one of the biggest events of the year in Cleveland, the Union Home Mortgage Cleveland Marathon. And all the festivities kick off this weekend, so we are sending good vibes to everyone running the full marathon, the half marathon, or any other race, whether it's 13.1 or 26.2 miles. It's an impressive feat, so send in the good vibes there. And so many of these runners have a story to tell. Here is one of them. We want you to meet Mike Uline. He is running this year in honor of his mom, Linda, who had an emergency life-saving double lung transplant one year ago. Linda was diagnosed with a disease that causes scarring of the lungs and her outlook was not great, my friends, but her doctors immediately put her on the transplant list and found a match just 12 hours later, and honestly, that's how you know it was very serious because some people sit on that transplant list for a long, long time. And we are very happy to say that Linda is not just doing good, she is doing great. And Mike has already run the Boston Marathon in her honor. So he's racking up those miles in honor of his mama. And we wanna say good luck to you on this one too, Mike. Hopefully you hit a PR out there. And it's really a family vibe today. We want you to check out this absolutely adorable video. This comes from Ashley Fisher in Virginia, and she is ashley.fisher.fitness on Instagram. It's her kids, six-year-old Weston and two-year-old Nora. And if you look at the video there, what you see is her big brother always looking out for the little sister. He is literally turning himself into a human step so that he can get his sister off that trampoline. That looks like something my brothers might have done to me after they bounced me off the trampoline and made me fear for my life. Just kidding, just kidding, Matt and Jason. Love you guys. This is too precious, we had to share it with you guys. Okay, now to the win of the weekend for me. It's pretty simple this week, folks. I am very excited that Taco Bell is bringing back the Mexican pizza today. You know, they took it off the menu in November of 2020 and people begged, kicked and screamed. They filed online petitions and in April, Taco Bell caved and they said, we are bringing it back. And uh, I've got one right here, right here, folks. Look at this. And you know what I love about this too? Previously, when I got my Mexican pizza, I had to ask them to sub out the beans for it. Now they have a veggie option. You can order it on the app. Okay, that's it for my plug for Taco Bell. As soon as the show is over, I'm finishing off with a big bite of my Mexican pizza. But first we will get to your win of the week, which is more food. Say it with me. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream? Yeah, we saw this tweet from Michael Collier on Twitter and that the Mitchell's ice cream stand in Heinen's is almost up and running. So, while you're shopping around Heinen's downtown, you can get your 34 flavors, have your cone while you shop, and of course, you know, you can get your pint to go if you want to. And the stand will be opening on Monday. And I gotta tell you guys, ice cream, kind of my thing. I went on a little quarantine ice cream tour. Mitchell's, top of the list. All right, now let's get to our new Good Catch segment. This is where we share an awesome moment caught on camera. Good Catch, you get it. This week, we have two. The first is in honor of it being Police Week this week. So somebody who lives in Menor posted this picture on Facebook. Look how cute that is. And thanked the officer for getting these little cuties safely across the road last week. Patty said the ducklings stopped four lanes of traffic and then they were just kind of hanging out, sitting in the middle of the road. So the officer put his lights on, escorted them to safety. Talk about to protect and to serve. That's a good catch. I definitely think so. And check this out. A school's baseball team in Northwest Ohio recreated the Sandlot movie pose. This is the Otsego High School baseball team's picture. We found it on Twitter. Now, let's show you the original Sandlot movie photo. Pretty spot on, right? And by the way, that movie is a classic. Benny the Jet Rodriguez, Wendy Peppercorn. Come on guys, too good here. Love to see the young people carrying on the classics. Listen, make sure you keep sending your good news our way by using that hashtag GoodNewsCLE when you post online with your pictures and your videos. Texting us at 216-344-3300 or by emailing us, goodnews at wkyc.com. You can also hit us up through the WKYC app. Use that near me feature. It's the WKYC app and you just tap on it in the bottom right corner. The app will tell you what to do from there. 
It couldn't be any easier. And that'll do it for us for your good news break this week, my friends. Remember, like and share this video and subscribe to our WKYC YouTube page. Follow us on social media at WKYC on Twitter and WKYC3 on Instagram. And I will see you next time, my friends. Mm.